cold, pristine, crystal clear water gushing straight up from the earth as it has for millennia. Surrounded by old growth cypress trees, this is one of Walton County's natural oases. And it's less than an hour's drive from the famous beaches along Florida's scenic highway 30A. Morrison Springs is one of 13 natural springs that flow into the Choctahatchee River Basin. Such precious sources supply fresh drinking water to local communities and life itself to the assorted critters and creatures that populate and surround these surreal shores. The highlight of this park is a 250 foot diameter spring pool that produces an estimated 48 million gallons of crystal clear water every day. And it's been recorded that it can produce up to 70 million gallons in one day. Freshwater springs are an integral part of Florida's deep history. Legend has it that Spanish explorer Ponce de Leon first came to Florida in 1513 in search of riches, gold, glory, and fabled fountains of perpetual youth. After all, what good does it do to rob others of their material wealth if you're not around to enjoy it? Ponce de Leon never found the Fountain of Youth. He was seriously wounded in a skirmish with a tribe of Native Americans known as the Calusa along Florida's southwestern coast. He later died from his wounds in Cuba and is buried in a cathedral in San Juan, Puerto Rico. Explorers came and went throughout the centuries, but the steady springs remained, quietly sticking to the task at hand. On any blistering summer hot day, the water here remains a steady, cool 68 degrees, a refreshing reprieve from the warm waters of the Gulf of Mexico. This, of course, makes Morrison Springs a popular hangout with locals. There's an elevated platform, a diving dock, a boat ramp, and a beach, attracting swimmers, plungers, paddlers, snorkelers, and divers. Walt Hartley of Dive 30A has explored Morrison Springs in ways that most people will never see. So Morrison Springs started out, um, I think, being pretty unknown, except to people that were longtime locals. Um, it was, you know, it just sort of a, a watering hole back then. And with the sign that was on the big cypress tree back here, it seemed to sort of have a little bit of an ominous history. But then, as soon as you go into the water um, and see how beautiful it is and how clear and everything, um, it sort of took that ominousness away. But this was actually one of the first places, um, first little caves that even though I knew I wasn't supposed to, I had to poke my head in there and just see what was going on. And that sort of started me on my, my journey towards cave diving. Contrary to what some might believe, these underground rivers do not channel water into Florida from other states. Florida has plenty of her own springs. Quite simply, the source of Florida's spring water is the rain that falls onto the land surrounding the springs. The rainwater seeps into the aquifers and then flows through layers of permeable limestone and dolomite rocks, effectively serving as a filtration system. The rainwater replenishes the aquifers, which in turn supply these springs with water. So I got certified to dive when I was 12 years old. Before I came here, the cave system actually went down to over 300 feet. There are some restrictions and things that go all the way down after the first chamber um, and goes, goes really deep down, but they had so many diving fatalities that um, I believe it was the sheriff's office actually um, used some explosives and sealed up uh, that part of the cave. So now it's really just a single chamber cave. These deep cavities allow Morrison's frigid waters to surface from the underground aquifer. The deepest of these cavities eventually connects with an underground chamber of dimensions not known. But the large quantities of water that are discharged from the springs indicate the immense capacity of this underground aquifer system to store and transmit water. 
these springs provide base flow for many of our local streams and rivers. The springs are also home to some nocturnal freshwater eels that swim around the vent, much to the delight of divers. You know, I think perhaps old Ponce got this one wrong. True, you're probably not going to find any gold or glory here. But if you look hard enough, you might just find that fountain of youth.